I went toy hunting at Imperial Castle in Pauling, New York, and I found some stuff. So yes, I went to Imperial Castle in Pauling, New York, which is the perfect vintage toy store blended with new age stuff. It's got something for everyone. We're gonna do a room tour. I picked up a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get into that. But before we do anything, you know what we have to do. You gotta hit up the social medias, the TikToks, the Instagrams, the Twitter, all very Gary underscore comics. Of course, hit that subscription button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear about your classic toys. What are you missing? Did you see something in this room tour, or room tour, store tour, uh, that brings back great memories? Something that you're like, oh, I had that. I missed that. I didn't have that guy, but I had this guy. I want to hear from you, of course, and hit the thumbs up and subscribe and all that, blah, 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 blah. Notification bell, the whole shebang. All right, so uh, I'm, I did a quick... A tour of the store, again, vintage stuff mixed with new toys, and God, I picked up some cool stuff. So without further ado, let's start touring the store. All right, guys, so here we are at Imperial Castle. Sorry for the voiceover, but it was really crowded in there, a lot of chatter. You wouldn't even have been able to, you could see people everywhere. You wouldn't even have been able to hear me. And there was a radio playing in the background, so we can't really have that on YouTube. So I want to start over here with some Super 7 Turtles, and we're going to go around the whole store. I, I'm, let me tell you right now, though, at, I'm going around the whole store, and I still missed a million things. So this is just the icing on, you know, scra scraping the surface, whatever it is, scratching the surface. So uh, here we go. He's got multiple, oh, party wagon. I like that. I don't have that. Actually, I never had that even as a kid. And I never had the Technodrome. Devastated. Uh, starting over here. So he's got multiple cabinets just like this. Kind of themed almost. Look at the Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Batgirl. Kind of themed. You see the flash on the left side on the superpowers? That's a graded copy. Look at the Gargoyles. Awesome, man. The old school Gargoyles toys. I think we all had those. Robocop 2. And again, all themed. Dick Tracy. Battle Beast, Karate Kid, and there's the Flash in the back there. That's like a $900 piece, I think. I think it's something like that. I don't remember. It was expensive, high grade. Toxic Avengers, if I remember correctly. And I want to hear from you guys. I mean, if there's anything that stands out, please leave a comment. Leave a comment. Look at the Proton Pack up there. We have the Donkey Kong Arcade, a Galactus. Let's see. Uh, is that some Star Wars stuff in there? I couldn't really tell. Look at the bootleg turtles. <laughs> Army ants. You have elf stuff back there. And it's Shogun Warriors? I don't know. These, I don't think these are Transformers. Those might have, those are Transformers. These are Transformers, I believe. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, some more Transformers up top. Now, obviously, I don't know what generation they are either. Shira's, I believe that's all Shira stuff and Shira's Castle. And then check this out. Look at all the Secret Wars and Superpowers. All individually priced, some complete, some not. Some Turtles. I really like the Ace Duck. I almost pulled the trigger on the Ace Duck. I just, I don't know. I just didn't. And there's also a Fugitoid and a Metalhead in the back there. Look at the Baxter over there on the right. And then some video game stuff here. Big old Yoda, Furby. Remember the McDonald's, Chicken McNuggets, Dragon Ball Z stuff. I don't know what that is. Jurassic Park, Millennium Falcon. Now that's cool. I don't. I can't imagine that's complete. It might even be, it might be. Who knows? There's another Star Wars stuff. Here's the Star Wars shelf. I think he rotates a lot of Star Wars. I think a lot of Star Wars comes in and goes out because he's got quite a few here. And you can see the empty spots too where there should be characters. I think that's Hoth right there. The Hoth playset. Austin Powers prototypes. Oh, Thundercats. Look at all these. Awesome. Oh, you know, I should have got Lionel. 
And here's He-Man stuff, some complete, some incomplete. And some more up here. I don't remember what that was. Oh, the turtle sewer. This was, I remember as a kid putting this turtle sewer together and it constantly falling apart and me just hating life. I also remember it was a lot bigger, but that's because I was a lot smaller. More Star Wars stuff all graded. Look at the penguin back there. Space Ghost. I love Space Ghost Coast to Coast. That show was fantastic. Some Star Wars, some G.I. Joe stuff now I think we're rolling into. Guys, this is just, again, this is just when you walk in the store to the right. Just some of the vintage, like, uncarded, non-carded stuff, opened up stuff. A lot of G.I. Joes. A little bit of Transformer stuff up here. Voltron. Then I was on the fence about running around, picking this up. The shield, sword, running around in my underwear pretending to be He-Man. That would have been fun, huh? But ultimately, I left that behind. The old Halloween set. There was actually a Skeletor one, too. But I didn't I, I didn't get to that. I didn't film that. More. Look at all the G.I. Joe stuff. Yikes. Ton of it. And then here's the Beanie Baby. I love this sign because I get people asking me all the time. No, they're not worth anything. No, it doesn't matter if it's Princess Diana. No, it doesn't matter if there's a spelling error. Yes, I've seen all of them. Like, that's great because I get questions about Beanie Babies all the time. Ton of G.I. Joe stuff. I think this is a lot more modern reprint kind of stuff here. Manny could help you out with that. Oh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, DC stuff here. All the multiverse stuff, all like that McFarlane stuff. All looks great. And swing around to some WWE and Masters, some Motu, Masters of the Universe, some Thundercat stuff, but a lot of Masters of the Universe here. So some of the, you know, the newer reprinted stuff, some old stuff you see there on the right in bags, and some more McFarlane stuff, some more DC figures, and then children's toys. I mean, this is like, really, I think my daughter was right there on the floor, but yeah, right there. Oh, this is a Bruce Tim piece. That is awesome there. So it's not just vintage, it's also brand new stuff. Scooby-Doo, I believe there's some Legos in here too. These are all games, a lot of games. One whole half of an aisle is games and then more carded figures. Look, some Blackest Night stuff and then some old legends that are just packed up individually. Some DC stuff, some Marvel. I didn't even look through there. It was tough. I was there with my wife and two kids so I was like kind of distracted. Oh, there's one right there. So I was kind of distracted, so I didn't get really deep into it. You could see up top there, Wonder Woman sideshow piece. And this this is the area I wish I dug through more because I see a Zelda figure and I don't even remember seeing it in the store. I just saw it watching this back. And I mean, old X-Men stuff from the 90s, some Spider-Man stuff. Gray Beast. Yeah, I remember those Fantastic Four toys. And then he's got more carded stuff over here. Some original, look at the Thundercats. Those are reprints, the Thundercats, but still. I say reprints, but no more. Oh, look at the Spidey mask. Some Turtles stuff. And then all those package stuff in those white boxes is all incomplete and complete Turtles and Motu and stuff like that. Stuff right up my alley. This is kind of, I don't want to say it's the warehouse section, but this is where he does a lot of his, you know, complete the figures some look at some Star Wars stuff, Joker statue. Here's the Wonder Woman premium format. I'm sorry, I'm going a little fast. All Marvel Legends there. Again, the store was really crowded, and I was kind of being talked to by my daughter and stuff. Here's a bunch of Funkos. I don't know what's new, what's old, what's rare, uncommon. I don't know, but he has a whole bunch. There are a lot of cool ones too. And I don't remember the pricing on these. I don't know if they were individually priced. Or they were all like $7.99 or something each. G.I. Joe stuff. Look at all the Star Wars figures there on the left. Carded Star Wars. I think that's the Black Series stuff there. I don't know. You guys have to correct me in the comments section. Oh, Gujitsus. Oh, these G.I. Joes. I know people were hunting those like crazy. Those new G.I. Joes that they made. Marvel Legends. 
A lot of Marvel Legends. And some Transformer stuff. Jurassic Park. And we're going to swing around. More new kids' toys. LOL stuff. Mystery pack things. Here you go, Family Guy. Oh yeah, remember these? All, all you 80s and 90s kids, look at that. I can't buy things like this. I'd open it and play with it. Big old Carnage. You got Rogue there too. There was a lot of them. This, is, this place is worth the trip, guys. If you were looking for vintage stuff, look, starting lineups, my God. Uh, vintage stuff, new stuff. This is worth the trip up to Pauling, New York. Again, this is Imperial Castle. They, I mean, they just have a little bit of everything for everyone. I shouldn't say a little bit. There should be something here for everyone. I mean, it's just, it's never ending. Look at all this carded stuff. Man Bat. More Star Wars. And the thing, too, is somebody like this can help you find something if you're looking for it. Here's, here's what I almost went home with. Not, not quite the video games, but the boxed-up Nintendo. And better yet, the Super Nintendo with the Zelda offer there. The Zelda, Zelda, came with Zelda. I mean, come on. Those I almost went home with. He doesn't do a lot into gaming, but it's slowly but surely growing over there. Hopefully you saw that in television. And then somebody brought some books in. Some more Star Wars stuff. Look, carded Fisto. Carded Evil Lin. I was thinking about stuff like that. Some DC superheroes. Some more older stuff. I mean, absolutely fantastic store. Incredible. Just... It's a lot of fun. I try to get there every month or so because the inventory rotates so often that it's worth making the trip. You know, every four to six weeks, you're going to get an entire different inventory. So let's talk about what I came home with. All right, so you got a tour there. It was a lot of fun. It's always a blast there. The owner, John, is full of knowledge with vintage stuff, new stuff. And of course, he's a collector himself, so he's done it all, had it all, big Star Wars guy. So, all right, with all of that, yes, I picked up a few things for myself. I have no intention of selling any of this stuff, so please don't ask. First thing I wanted to show you is something that is cool as hell, something I've kind of had in the back of my mind for a while to pick up, um, and it just happened. To, I just happened to see it there, the only one they had there, and that is the Casey Jones replica mask. Now, why did I want this? You guys know I am a turtle guy, but I got this so artists, all different artists, can draw on it. I already talked to Ryan Brown, who's done the Ronin, two different Ronin covers for me. He's gonna be the first one on here, and I wanna get a last Ronin, and from there on, we'll do Turtles, and Baxter, and Splinter, and Casey, and just, so this is gonna be covered in remarks hopefully full by the end of con season this year i'll keep you guys updated on it so that you know and you guys can totally steal my idea because it's not even my idea i stole it from uh jay debusha from pressable defects so can't take credit for this one because he did he he's doing a red hood helmet and he also did a punisher helmet iron iron punisher the war machine punisher so all right so that's that i picked that up and then I also picked up a bunch of different, uh, which ones are these? Are these Neko's? No, Super 7s, the Super 7 Turtles. Here's Mutagen Man. This is an exclusive, I think. I think this is an exclusive. I also think it glows in the dark. Uh, yeah, an Entertainment Earth exclusive. I grabbed one of those. I grabbed five of these different things. So I also grabbed this one, and they come sleeved. Uh, I grabbed Krang. I, the price was right. He hooked me up, he took care of me. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just get these things. Uh, I grabbed this one, Leatherhead, which is cool. And I have like, I don't know, I have two new cases. I may display them. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. For you guys who aren't Turtle fans, sorry. Uh, we got here, Ray Filet. All right, Ray Filet, which, uh, yeah. These, these they're just great, great detail and then, Last but not least, this one is just classic Samurai Leonardo. I mean, come on, all you guys had this. All you turtle guys back in the day had this toy, right? You had to. 
You absolutely had to. Now, one last toy I did pick up from him, something I was kind of looking for. Um, who's this? Yeah, Rayflake. Something I was looking for. I'm only missing one more of the turtle toys that I really, really am trying to get. Um, other than like the crazy obscure expensive ones, I'm missing a foot soldier, a co complete though. I want the foot soldier complete. And then I just picked up, let's see, a, I'm pretty sure it's complete. It might not be, I might be all screwed up here, but, uh, I'm just trying to give him his weapons. Bebop. So now I have Bebop, I have Rocksteady, I have Shredder. Oh, I'm missing Splinter too, a complete Splinter. And I don't care about April. I don't need a complete April. But I have like Usagi, Baxter, all four turtles. I also have all four turtles carded, which is cool. I have Casey Jones, Triceraton, Slash, Toka, Razor. I have a whole bunch. But uh, here's Bebop. He's going to go in the stand tonight. And uh, I'm just kind of missing Foot Soldier. I don't have a Krang. I guess I could go for a Krang too. Why not? I have this one, but that's cheating. That's not really him. So uh, that's my pickups. I'm really excited about the Casey Jones mask to see how it goes. Oh, and he threw me a foam head to put the Casey Jones mask on. So that'll be on display. And I might do a whole nother turtle case. We'll see. Anyway, that is Imperial Castle in Pauling, New York. They have a ton of stuff like you saw. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Something's a little bit different for the channel. I have been there before for people who've watched this. I did a room, a store tour years ago from Imperial Castle. This one's a little different. And the cool thing is they are always getting different things in. For example, the first time I did that tour, none of this stuff was there. It didn't even exist. None of the video games were there. He wasn't doing that. So he, it's just an ever-changing inventory, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics. And in this case, uh, keep it toys too.